Hmm. Thor? Nah. J. Edgar? Nope. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2? Nah. All right, Tim, you win. Twilight was the most entertaining movie of 2011. Breaking Dawn. Come on, bro! Yes, I said it. In my opinion, Breaking Dawn was the most entertaining movie I've seen in theaters in the year 2011. Don't get me wrong. From a film perspective, it was shit. But I don't remember laughing harder or enjoying myself in the theater experience as much. Here's why. Spoiler alert. In typical Hollywood fashion in these movies, no one's ugly. Except for this one, they bring in Shannon from Lost as a vampire, who seems to be the only vampire that got ugly after they got bit. In typical Twilight fashion, there's a pan down from the title sequence over a house. Out of the house comes Jacob Black. And what does Jacob Black do? Rips off his shirt and starts running. If you didn't already know, Jacob Black is a werewolf. And when he phases, his clothes rip to shreds. Surely his jeans and his shoes would be more cost effective. But let's be honest, it probably wouldn't sell as many tickets. Pavlov couldn't have made a dog salivate faster than the girls in the theater. Money in the bank. Of all the characters, I have to say Jasper is my favorite. The bro literally only says three lines in the entire film, but his facial expressions are priceless. If you didn't read the books by now, you don't know that werewolves have ESP. And we find this out when all the wolves get together and have a big fight. They're all growling and showing their teeth, and barking at each other and fighting. And all the while, there's voiceovers. Looks kind of like this. There's a new monster coming now. Every human will be in danger. We have to destroy it. You mean kill Bella? Bella's human. Save the CG money. Have them change back into humans before talking. But you just said they ripped their clothes off when they change. Wouldn't they be just naked dudes fighting? Listen, when the clan's life is at stake and more humans can die, there's no time to worry about Lautner's log hitting you. Besides, there's a girl wolf now. So, got it. If that wasn't enough for you, the director trying to add scenes that depicted the book series cover art is amazing. Edward and Bella are driving away in their brand new Volvo. And right over the top of them is a full moon. Hey, that moon looks pretty new. <laughs> the last little bit of joy I got is when Bella's discussing the name of her future half-vampire, half-human child in her stomach. If it was a boy, Edward Jacob. Not so bad. But if it was a girl, she was going to name it Renezme. Such a bad name. I even cringed when I read it in the book. What made that moment great was the two girls behind me. When Bella said Renesme, they said, in unison, genius. In summary, is Twilight gonna win an Academy Award? God help us all. Should you spend 10 bucks to see it? Yes. Saw it already? Grab some good friends and sneak in and see it again. Just kidding, don't sneak in. If you don't like the Twilight series, why did you get the cardboard cutout? Cause it wasn't bolted down, of course. Come on, bros! Yes, but don't worry. My buddy Jeremy gave me a Wikipedia guide on how to kill a bear. So manhood will resume shortly. Chill the f*** out. I got this.